once again, peoples of the world. This is Argonian Sam, back in Planet Explorers. And like I said last time, we're going to go find either David or Chen, one of these two guys. Because basically we're going to go here. This is where we're going. I'm actually going to put a waypoint right there. Waypoint, there we go. So I can actually find my way to that waypoint. There it is. Good. So we're going to go there, we're going to find the dude, and hopefully not die along the way. Actually, we have the revival shot we're supposed to test, so we're going to hopefully die on the way. Uh, I got stone equipment and a, and a wooden bow. No, you cannot make a stone bow. That is inconceivably dumb. That is just the dumbest idea ever, is to make a bow made of stone. I mean, I mean iron. I could see iron. There's compound bows and stuff, but making it out of stone, that's not even a good idea. So we're going to be going off into the wild blue yonder. Or at least the, the wild yonder. Might not be blue. This is very green and gray area. Very grassy, very rocky. That's blue. We're not going up there. We're going over there. We're going in this direction. So, eh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit wild blue. This is wild blue. This is wild green gray. I also need to find something huge to try and kill myself quickly. Um, I need a lot of wood and a lot of resin, so I'm actually going to try and chop down this tree. This is a big tree, so this is going to take a while. Hmm. Now that I have a stone axe, this isn't taking nearly as long as I thought it would. So bored. Oh, wait. Eh. Eh. It could be longer. I'd like to try and do this with the pocket knife. Yeah, that's possible. Actually, it is possible, and it takes quite a long time. Because I'm a nerd and I tested it. 315 wood! Oh my gosh! That is a massive amount of wood. I can have arrows for days. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to use all of it. No, minimum. You know what? Let's give myself... No, but not 4,000. 400. 400 arrows. That's not a bad amount. That's not a that's a decent amount of arrows. Enemies. I don't have any armor whatsoever, so using a bow early in the game, good idea. Especially if you have someone else that also uses a bow. And someone who can do that. <laughs> well that's nice. Looting things is a lot easier. It used to be this huge, like cumbersome thing. At least I found it. This cumbers what in the world? Is this actually a hole, or is this where it hasn't loaded? This is a hole. Well, if I was looking for a way to kill myself with fall damage before, here it is. What is this that I'm standing on? I want to mine it and see what it is. This is coal. Wow, this is a huge coal deposit. It's like in a cave entirely made of coal. This is so cool. Yes, I made that joke. Anyone that wondering, yes, I actually didn't just make that joke. You can thank me later. Okay, I'm wondering something. This game is alien. Obviously, alien. Um, is there things in this game, like giant insects, or medium-sized insects, or killer insects? What is that? Something tells me this is spider webs, but something also is telling me to mine it. Ha ha! Oh, this is zinc. Oh, congratulations. With this and the copper that I have, I can now open a penny mint. Perfect. This is actually a lot of zinc. I should come back here with a drill or something. Do I get drills in this game? I think you can get a drill eventually. Maybe. They might have added one. I think when I was playing around in creative mode, I found a drill in the items, so... I don't know how to get it yet. I like how this is basically just just a texture of normal coal pasted over the ground. But hey, it's not something I should really be complaining about because the rest of the game is pretty awesome. Most of the other materials don't look as derpy as coal does in my opinion. This is a lot of zinc. This is a lot. Huh. I think I am 100% stuck in a cave, actually. I am stuck in a cave. Mm. You know what? I'm going to give 
I'm gonna give my headlamp to uh, Betsy. I know, I know. Some people are saying, don't give your headlamp to Betsy. What if she dies? Well, that's my decision. I'm gonna give her the headlamp. Why? I have a flashlight. I'm gonna be using the flashlight. And you know what? It's really not that dark in this cave. There are some caves that are a lot darker in this game. But yeah, for the most part, this is actually a pretty bright cave. This should work. Carter Camp. Just pay seven meat to fast travel back to that. Get out of this cave. Yes, please. Fast travel me out of this cave. <gasps> fast traveling. Still load screens. My good old buddy loading screens is officially back. Missed you, buddy. For a game that actually has to load the entire game world and all the enemies and all the items and stuff, it actually has pretty fast loading screens if you think about it like that. Okay, a lot more bow ammo. A lot more bow ammo. Yes, I'm starting to call arrows bow ammo. No, I have a lot more arrows. <laughs> so, off we go. And I think coming up is one of the earliest chances in the game to actually get a gun. But you gotta think. You gotta get sulfur, and I think, um, coal in order to create some black powder. Then you need some copper to make the bullet shells. Um, then you need to actually, like, have the gun. So I think, in my opinion, until you get the chance to buy them, like, often, having a gun is actually quite expensive when it comes to like items wise oh animal fight animal fight i'm gonna dominate what are these things they're like space monkeys animal skin do these drop animal skin i'm gonna attack the space monkeys i think these are pack animals so these guys should actually start coming back around yeah they're gonna come around Some more meat. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Die, space monkeys. Somehow. Something tells me these things actually don't drop animal skin. They're pretty thin. Yeah, I don't think they drop anything. What is she shooting at? Um. Now you see what I was saying when I say that the companion characters can sometimes burn through arrows quite quickly if you give them a bow. Let's let's check on Betsy. Yeah, she's already burned through 50 arrows in a fight that took like 3 seconds. This is why I do not give her more arrows. This is why I ration the arrows for her. If I can find a greenback rhino, I can actually take the revival shot quite quickly. There should be a few of them around the plains around here. I know you find at least one of them on the way to this somewhere. I'm gonna learn the revival. Aha! I knew I had some scripts. Where am I actually going? Am I still traveling? No, I'm still traveling in the right direction. There it is! There's one! That is a greenback rhino. At this point in the game, they will kill you quite quickly. But normally they're quite easy to kill at certain points in the game. See what I mean? Like no damage whatsoever. And done. Mission complete. So this is where you run and run quickly. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. I killed my companion. But don't worry, because I have 20 minutes to revive her. Yes, you do actually have a time limit, and you can use revival shots on them. Okay, so he's no longer chasing me down, which means... Am I too far away now? No, you shouldn't be able to be too far away. Okay, good. Revive her. Yeah, there we go. And then I can call her to me. And 
and here she comes. There we go. Okay, so there. <laughs> I was on test survival shot on Greenback right now. You can eventually kill those things really easy. I do not want this thing bugging me later. Let's see if I can take it out. Huh? Oh, there's the crater. Okay, we're gonna go find Chen. David's elsewhere. Whoa! He's actually being attacked by the space bird thing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he has a gun. Okay, now that I hit him with an arrow, he's actually going to be attacked by my party members, too. Okay, good. It is possible to kill these things with a sword. Very hard, very possible. You have to wait until they die bomb you, and then you just basically hold up your sword, and they kind of kill themselves. Wait a minute. Awesome! I can now fast travel to the meteorite right crater. Winnie. Winnie's right here. Um, okay. Zombie Winnie. Uh, zombies. Wait, what's this? <gasps> I found puree! I don't know puree of what, but I found it! I amaze myself at some of the derpy things I say. She looks evil sometimes. Yep, I'm a member of the colony of Defense Force. So, you found our camp, huh? Glad to see there are other survivors. Okay, oh, I'm not really sure, but something definitely hit the ship. It didn't look like a weapon, though. Nothing exploded. Maybe it was a space rock of some sort. The Epiphany fell to the north of here. We'll probably get the answers we need when we find that ship. I have an Epiphany! I completely butchered the word Epiphany. <gasps> I can get copper tools and iron tools and guns. <laughs> You can tell what I'm really excited about. It's like, and guns. But yeah, I'm kind of looking a lot more forward to copper swords. Oh, wait. I remember this. You can buy it, and it's quite expensive, but he gives it to you in like 30 seconds. If you talk to him. And yes, you can actually buy, like, bow parts and gun parts. You can make your own custom guns. I'm actually going to buy the bullet scripts so that I can start to te teach myself how to make bullets. Um, but what I am going to do is bron bronze. I don't have bronze. So I remember you have to use you have to combine copper and something. Yeah, bronze. Okay. Um, so copper sword, copper shield, copper shovel, copper, copper. Okay, I'm not going to buy the armor yet, because I still don't have normal armor, and it's not that expensive. But what I can do, selling price for these is really expensive. So I can actually start selling some of my more expensive stuff. See? Buffed that back up. So I reorganize my entire inventory. I'm still missing some ammo Okay. So, some of you may be wondering what the scanner is. And the scanner is actually really cool. So, see? Scanner. I can scan, and it actually gives you a really cool layout of the map. I can scan it, and, it's, and it tells me stuff. But I don't have any attachments for the scanner yet. So what I'm actually going to do, first of all, learn all the scripts. Script, 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 and script. There we go. And I'm going to talk to him. Wait, I still have the bullet script. There we go. One more script. There we go. Out, out of the way, Betsy. Meteorite crater. Okay. Brim with iron and copper. Mobile sentries. Okay. Tin is usually mixed with copper, so you can take a copper you find. Okay. Yeah, see, he just gave me the scanner upgrade. Do you have anything else to do? And he also wants me to make him a handgun. So. Okay. So, this is what I was talking about. So, oh, he already gave me the pick. Okay. So, I go into the scanner now. And see, I actually have copper and iron. So, iron's going to show up as a green dot, and copper's going to show up as a uh, reddish copper dot. So, then when I hit scan, just give it a second. This is actually really cool one. Oh, scan is right here. This is the scan button. I basically just selected the scan option again. So, you can see. Yeah, each one of those little green dots is, an, is a unit of copper. I mean, iron. These are all copper. 
So you can see that this is definitely a good mining spot to get some iron and some copper. So what I'm going to do is I am right here. So if I dig straight down, actually I'm going to position myself a little bit better. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh my. This way. Okay, if I position myself like this and dig straight down, I should actually find some copper quite quickly. And then I can dig around here. Because uh, that big rock right there, that's the meteorite. And that's actually just a solid chunk of iron. But with a copper pickaxe, I can actually get more iron per swing. Do I actually have enough to do stuff with that right now? Or no? Copper. Nope, I don't have any stuff to do copper with. Copper, 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 copper. Okay, well the first thing I'm going to do is get a copper pickaxe, not a copper shovel. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I need a firearm, I need iron, I need copper, I need animal fat, and I need wood. Well, I have plenty of wood, that is for sure. Uh, come here, Betsy. I am going to need your headlamp again, because I'm going to be digging straight down. So I'm going to send you off to work. But you have a pickaxe. Yeah, you have a pickaxe. Okay, good. <laughs> I up sometimes. So, shop... And I'm going to sell a few things. Selling price. Meh. 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 Ooh, I still need the stone shovel. I still need all this stuff. still need all this stuff. Okay. So I found Chen. And I am accomplishing goals. But I think that'll just about wrap it up. So, next time when I come back, I'm going to be mining the heck out of this crater. Get some copper, get some iron, get some much better tools, and maybe even a gun. No bullets, just the gun. But it's a gun. So, we'll see you next time, peoples of the world.